Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Scorpio. It's still Scorpio season, isn't it? It is, a couple more days. So, um, if you've watched me before, I have new hair. Um, oh, I forgot my chapstick. Anyway, reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, as well as Cross Watchers, because um, the energy can always be vice versa. Um... Okay. Hold on. All right, got it. All right. I personally feel like my energy has been, not my energy, my intuition has been extremely blocked in the last few days since like Friday-ish, and I don't know why. Um, so we'll see what comes out in this reading. I feel like I've been kind of off, so I don't know. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. If you don't know, I am a Scorpio. My birthday was October 30th. Um, so let's see what is going on with the sign of Scorpio for mid-November. Can you believe it's almost Thanksgiving? This is insane. first card out we have is universe now of course i forget which one this was this is the psychic tarot and they're based off of the tarot but they're a little bit different um the world yes this is about cycles but also i mean you can take it as a universe victory and success this is actually the six of, six of wands Emotional withdrawal. This is the Eight of Cups. Firm foundation. What is that? The four of um. Wow. I haven't used this deck in a while. It's Pentacles, it's definitely Pentacles. Okay. Sorry. I think I said this wrong. Greenness emotions. Sorry, it's been a while since I used this deck. Physicals. That's got to be the pentacles. Sorry. Please hold. Double tap the right of your screen and you can fast forward. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This is like, you know what? Erase that. We're not even going to talk about the regular tarot. Other than, well, the major card. See, I told you my intuition has been like, bleh. Like, I can't even, like, function anymore. All right. What's up with this emotional withdrawal here? Endings. It's kind of swords. Emotionally withdrawn after an ending, basically closed out a um, cycle, a karmic cycle, and now you're feeling unamused with a lot of things. I know I certainly am. Um, look at this firm foundation. You're not looking to five wands. This is mental conflict. If something isn't solid you don't want to waste your time with it that's victory and success here victory three swords heartbreak you're done wasting your time with karmic patterns karmic people
release your ex. Time's come to clear your energy. You've, I feel like, so you've, you finally learned some lessons. You finally learned to cut out things that no longer serve you right with this emotional withdrawal. This is definitely the eight of cups here. Um, it's getting rid of all of that. Releasing your, your ex doesn't have to be a person necessarily. It could be just some sort of pattern in your life, right? Because we had, this was the world card. You're done with it. And you, um, finances and career, financial issues are factoring your love life right now. You might be focusing more on career right now. Um, but I think the thing is here, you're very much focused on not taking on anything that's not going to be stable. You're done with the crap. You're done with the karmic cycles. You don't want to deal with it anymore. I got these cards back the other day and now they don't shuffle right. And I'm so annoyed by it. Head of the pack. Successful competition drive. Get it done. This is what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody that is on your level here. And um, mask. Very supportive friend. You might be leaning on friends right now and not worrying so much about romantic things. Diamond ring as source as soon as I say that, right? You're looking for a serious commitment. You're not playing around anymore. You're looking for the head of the pack. You're looking for you know, the one, right? You're done playing games. What's up with this mask? Hold on. What is up with this mask here? These cards just don't shuffle right anymore. I'm so mad. This flipped earlier too. Um... You're not going to deal with sneaky people anymore. It's like you can see through what's not going to work for you. A more for the mask. Please. The moon. It's like intuition, right? You can see through what's not being shown to you. It doesn't mean necessarily people are bad, but it's you can tell whether it's right for you or it's not. And you're not wasting your time anymore. That's what this feels like here. It's like, I'm done with these karmic cycles. I'm done with this crap. I want the real one. I want the right one. I want this. And we had friends and finances, right? You might be focusing on that heavily right now. And you're like, you know what? Who's ever meant to be will come in when they're supposed to. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you might be focusing a lot on work right now. Not worrying about love. Ten of Cups, of course. Since I said that twice, this happened. Um, you want this, though. You want this Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness, abundance, family. You want that. But unless they're top of the line, head of the pack here, it's a no. <laughs> um, Queen of Swords just fell out. You're not taking any crap from people you're done with it you you want the real one that's what's going on here it's yeah <clears throat> ace of cups yep you want this romantic oh god sorry <laughs> romantic love um gesture like you, you want this ace of cups like New beginning in love. Like, you don't want any from the one from the past, either. You're done with all of it. Everyone from the past is not gone. Everyone, as well as those patterns that are from the past. That's what this feels. It's like, you're done with crap. Like, you don't want anything that's not this. You want, like, the cream of the crop, head of the pack here. And I feel like you can tell when someone is not that, and you're going to quickly chop them right out. Very interesting reading. 
All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to be notified when I post future videos. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.